everyone, Artie Tambaramba, also known as Tammy Klinger, here with you again today. Thanks so much for stopping by my YouTube channel and welcome to all the new people. There's been quite a few new people find me lately, so I'm thrilled that you've, you're have you here. So today I'm going to do another journal page for Art by Marlene and I'm using the perfect size journal and then I'm using this um, stencil set which is called Calming Trio from her new signature collection and also the Blooming which was the big floral mask from that collection too and then this is from the last release um, and I'm just using the word stencil in there and then I dug out a couple of my old faves um, Pac-Man and that large circle stencil also grabbed a roller I think that's what it's called and a paint spreader spatula um, and some white gesso so I'm using the one from the crafters workshop and I've got Marlene sticky glue and then I'll just run through the paints that I've grabbed out um, I've grabbed mermaid which is the aqua glow which is the neon green lace and pitch which is black and white then ballet which is pink and punk which is the fluoro purple and funky which is the fluoro pink so I end up not using all of these but that's what I had in my head so I decided to work on a craft page because I haven't done that for a while so I've just hunting through my album pulled out a craft sheet and the first thing I'm going to do is whack down some gesso um, so I'll just I've now sped it up I slow it down to show you the product so I'm just applying a spatula to spread that white gesso all over not thinking too much about it getting it fairly well covering the craft because I just find the craft lots of the paints want to seep into the craft and because I like bright color having some sort of barrier down first helps so now I'm adding the funky the main two paint colors I use today are the funky and the glow which is the pink and green from the neons and I'm just kind of getting the color down and I'm spreading it out with the brayer that's what they're called brayers <laughs> and um and also my spatula as well so just spreading it around I did I think I did add a little bit of punk as well in there now it's important to dry in between you saw the heat gun came out and that's because I'm using pink and green and pink and green um, when they mix will make brown so I don't want brown so I did dry off in between often I don't but for this one I did so this one this page I've got a bit of an idea that I want to use lots of the stencils and show you a few different ways to use stencils but I actually didn't really have much of a plan so at this stage I'm just creating a layer um, I actually end up you'll see I end up covering a lot of it up and kind of wishing I'd stopped and started a new page because I really liked the background but anyway that's all what art journaling is it's all about layering and having a go and changing it up so this um, stencil for the, well, the first stencil I used is from the new calming trio and I used the mask that's sort of a geometric shape and I just used that in the background by uh, sponging some punk through it then I've grabbed the word stencil um, that is from uh, I think it's mask 139 the mixed up collection and yeah I just with black um, acrylic paint I have just sponged some words into the background so now at this stage I feel like I've lost all my white because I went a little nuts with my color surprise surprise so now I'm bringing in a lot of white just spreading it, spreading it on with my fingers and then removing it through with a wet baby wipe through um, that large circular stencil and I really love the look that that gives I think that's really cool this is probably where I wished I'd stopped because I was like that you know really just needs a quote and something fun and it'll be finished but anyway I continue on uh, so I did also add a little bit of Pac-Man with the punk neon as well just little bits here and there so now I've grabbed the um, the new stencil I love Marlene's floral stencils and this one's called blooming and I'm focusing on the leaves so I've grabbed some of my book paper and I've grabbed out the glow um, neon and also the deeper green which I'm pretty sure is called forest and I'm just sort of doing a two-tone so I'm just um, sponging through the stencil um, using both colors so that they mix a little bit and I'm trying to keep the darker color towards the bottom of the leaf 
Um, and now um, I let that dry and I've grabbed another sheet and this is this time I'm doing flowers so I'm using a combination of funky and also of the punk and I'm just um, trying to mix it up a little bit but mainly have the the purple more in the center so that it gets lighter coming out on the petals so I just do um, a few flowers and then I've cut them out so I probably could have fast forwarded this bit but I am basically just trimming around the lines that the stencil actually gives you so Marlene's already done the work so I'm just trimming and trimming out the leaves um, and they look really nice on the book paper it just gives a little bit of a different background um, yeah so as I said, I kind of wish I'd left my background, but you'll see it go through a bit of a process now. So I think that's important as well, that you never know what's underneath an art journaling page because it is all about playing and trying things out. Um, and it's sometimes not till you watch a video back that you think, ah, oh, that's where I should have stopped. <laughs> but I, having said that, I am actually happy with the outcome. Okay, back to the page. So now, as you can see, I've cut them all out and I'm sort of placing them on the page and I think... Well, I have got a really busy background clashing with the, the foreground, which is the flowers, and all too much of the same colour. So my attempt here is to add in more gesso or white, um, just to kind of get rid of a little bit of that clashing. Um, I think it was just too much colour and I wasn't sure where to look. So yeah, so now I'm drying it off and I try them out again. And I think that it's a little bit better. It's still not quite where I need it, but I'll fix that later. So after a bit of shuffling and rearranging, I just decide to stick them down. So this is the sticky glue I'm using. And I'm simply just sticking, I'm not sticking them right to the edge um, all the way because I just want to be able to tuck my leaves underneath. So um, I can finish t sticking once I know where I want my leaves to go. So you can just see a few of the little words and a bit of the black there um, peeking out. So now I <laughs> I decide to add more of the fluoro pink. And I, I know I really like the way those large circles work with that stencil. So I apply it and then quickly pull it back off, leaving that cool um, design. So I'm coming in with a bit of the punk here. So this is the colour I used sort of in the centre of the flowers. It's hard to see on the video. But you can see when I start adding it into sort of around the edges of the flowers and the leaves, it actually does help them to stand out a little bit more. They're not so clashing with the background. And I do like that there is a bit of the colours in the foreground in the background. I think it does tie it all together. So now I've grabbed a black paint pen and I'm just uh, adding in some details. So I'm drawing around the edge of the leaves and I draw the centre of the flowers and I draw around the petals of the flowers as well. And I do it really roughly. I want it to look a bit messy. I like that I've used the textbook paper and you can see the words peeking through. So I don't want to cover it all up. I want it to be a little bit messy and a little bit... Um, so it looks hand drawn because um, I get I think you've got these wonderful shapes that the stencils have given you and so you don't want to make them too perfect you want it to look a bit sort of hand drawn and hand painted okay so I've gone around all the edges and this is where I'm just gluing the the petals down because um, I'm happy with where they all are and I decided to add a little bit more of punk in. I think I've told you before, this is my absolute favourite colour in her paint, that neon punk. I use it all the time just to brighten up pages and love, love, love it. <laughs> so here I'm adding a few more of the words in again with that um, stencil. So I just found I had covered quite a few up. And I did like that there's, like there's text, like there's words on the um, text paper that I've, put the flowers and leaves on and it'd be nice to have some wording in the background as well just to keep that consistent so this is me really just fluffing and going oh how can I really um 
help those flowers to pop um, because I feel like even though it's better I still feel like there was something missing so this is when I grab a bit of smurf and this is what fixes it so this is a deep blue and I'm actually using it um, a little bit watered down so almost like a bit of a watercolor and I'm just adding it around the leaves and the flowers almost like a shadow and immediately you can see that that sort of lifts the page and it helps the flowers to stand on their own so without getting as lost so yeah I'm happy with that and I think that purple neon punk and that smurf work so beautifully together so now I'm just coming in with a couple of fluoro paint pens and just adding a few highlights into those flowers um, into the center so a bit of purple and a bit of blue just to hint it into the background just so it complements each other and then I've added some white paint straight from the tube to add a few dots to the center of a couple of flowers and around the edge of another center and now I found a little quote um, that I used uh, that was one of Marlene's from a long time ago when she did it on craft paper. So it says humble beginnings. And then I just added a little bit of journaling um, to go along with that. And now I'm just scribbling around the edge because I think the all the hand-drawn bits on the flowers need a bit of scribble around the edge. And then a few splats of white paint. And I use a paint pen as well just to go splat. And I think that just, that to me feels like it finishes it off. So some final little touches with that beautiful Smurf just to really emphasize those flowers. And there you have it. So that is my page. So you can see it went through a bit of a process. Maybe I'll do another page with that similar background for something else because I did really like that and it's gone. <laughs> anyway, thanks for being with me and being patient and watching the whole process of how a page can happen. And these stencils are wonderful. You have so much fun with them. All right, guys, I'll be back again soon. I would love you to subscribe.